that, but then <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Do you think rating high enough? What are you saying? Rating high enough? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are so it is with NaH2, NaH2 mean that NaH2 is the solvent? No, it's not a solvent. Okay. Alcoholic KOH we are using and we have a mixture of KOH and NH2. It's two different solvents we are using. Solvent is alcohol. So the reaction here you see, C, C, H, B, R. That only affects the rate of slow or fast, but the product will be the same. So slow if they're different. If the bond dissociation is different. It forms HC triple bond CH. <laughs> And we get two molecules of HPI. This is next method of filtration. So does it have to be visible in the analytes or can it like be on any card? For this, we can mainly we use this method. You can um, have them also, them dihalide. But that reaction is generally it's not very easy to process with this uh, reagent. So mainly for this reagent we are using vicinal dihalides. Okay? Then dihalides we can also prepare alkyne. But the method is different. Okay. Next write down. By heating, by heating, second method of preparation, by heating 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 tetrachloroethane. This is a small chapter alkyne, very few reactions here. 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2 tetrachloroethane with zinc in methanol. Zinc in methanol. CHCl2 with CHCl2 plus Zn CH3OH. The product here is CH triple bond CH plus Zn CH2. If you have more alkyl groups attached, if you have more alkyl groups attached, then also give us Next method of preparation. Write down next by heating halo form with silver powder. Silver. Silver powder means powder form. Hello form with silver powder. It is similar to Wood's reaction. CHX3 plus 6 moles of silver plus when you heat this AGX forms and we get acetylene. So it's not much reaction. It's similar to this. Pattern is same. For the preparation of only alkene mainly. But in both reaction we have one more ionic mechanism also possible. That forms alkene also. But it is useful for the preparation of symmetrical alkene. Because so we had a question in the assignment where ah. they asked if... See, Wood's reaction, we haven't discussed the ionic mechanism of that. Free radical mechanism gives you only alkene, symmetrical alkene. Ionic mechanism gives you alkene plus alkene both. So this is symmetric. Which one? This one. Symmetrical means? We are taking halo form. Halo form, general formula is this one. Halo form like CHCL6. This one, okay. Write down. 
by heating hello form with silver powder. With this is the same one, same one, By heating hello form with silver powder. See, CHCl3 is what? You must have heard the name. Chloroform. Ido form is CHI3. Okay, that is hello form. It can't be RXC. Yes, no. RC CL3 is right. Okay. Right, John. Next one. By hydrolysis of certain carbides. By hydrolysis of certain carbides. Carbides like calcium carbide CaCO2. Calcium carbide CaCO2. On hydrolysis, it forms acetylene plus CaOH twice. This one is important. Calcium carbide gives you acetylene, not methane. Magnesium carbide we can also take plus H2. Forms CH3 C triple bond CH propine plus Mg OH gold. Both reactions are important. Thank you. Last one from methane. From methane. CH4. Two methods of preparation we have. Two moles of this. Uh, it's different than that. It's not the same. For calcium, it is, uh, you know, you can say it is exceptional. Mg2C3, the structure is this C double bond. C, double bond C, double bond on both sides, magnesium won't form double bond, Mg, I think this is a such a possible. Exactly what I said. <laughs> so, so, so how does it form a double? It is not stable. It is not stable. So why do Mg and Beryllium form bonds? Yeah. 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 So why do Mg and Beryllium form bonds? Yeah. 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 We can prepare the carbides of magnesium. 